Hi, welcome back to our video series on Cisco Modeling Labs. In this installment, we're going to be looking at how we can set up a port channel or ether channel or link aggregation or bond, whatever you want to call it, between a Nexus 9000 V node and an Ubuntu node in CML. Out of the box, this does not work. Um, and we've gotten quite a few um, requests for how we can make this work and, and what are you doing wrong. There's a lot of guides out there for just setting this up. So on the surface, you think it would work. Um, but what you end up getting is uh, something like this. You see on the, you've, you've got your interfaces connected. And in this case, you can see we're using two interfaces for the port channel, uh, Ethernet 1.1 and 1.2 on the Nexus side. And uh, that's actually ENS2 and 3 on the Ubuntu side. Uh, but on the switch, we see that both members are in a suspend state. And of course, the port channel itself is down. And you can see what my uh, interfaces are configured as. Nothing too complicated. We're doing uh, LACP, so 802.3 uh, AD link aggregation. Uh, or LACP, however you want to call it. Um, I'm doing a trunk on this with a uh, single allowed VLAN, and they're both uh, an active mode on my port channel. On the Linux side, if we do a IP uh, link show, we see that we've got our two interfaces, and they're up, and they're part of the, uh, the bond zero, which is also up, and its lower layer is up, and we see that the sub-interface, the VLAN 10 sub-interface is up. And if we look at the net plan file that generated this, not too complicated there. You can see we've got our two ENS2 and 3 interfaces. They're part of the bond zero interface. We're doing a LACP or 802.3 AD with a LACP rate of fast. And we've got our VLANs. Why isn't this working? If you dig into the kernel documentation on the bonding um, kernel module, you'll see that mode 802.3 AD requires that the member interfaces report their speed and duplex correctly. And if we look at ENS2 and ENS3 with ETH tool, you'll see that speed is unknown and duplex is unknown. And it's because of that that no LACP frames are generated from Linux. And we can confirm that on the switch side. If we do a show lack P counters, we see that uh, we've got some, but from a previous attempt. So I'll clear them and just prove that we're not getting any, we'll, we'll start to see some go out, the switch it will, will send. Uh, and if I bounce the interfaces, we'll see them coming out much more quickly, but we're not receiving any uh, from the Linux side. And the Linux side just is silently not sending any. The good news is we can use ETH tool to explicitly set the speed and duplex. So I can do ETH tool minus S, E, and S2, speed 1000, duplex full, and then we can look at it and we can see that it's there. However, back here, we're not going to see any uh, LAC P frames come in yet. Um, it's a little kind of chicken and the egg thing. We've got to first, we've got to kind of kick the bond interface to get it to start sending out uh, those frames. And we also want to make this persistent so it happens every time on boot. So to do both of those things, go to the Etsy network D dash dispatcher uh, slash routable dot D directory on the Linux side. Uh, it's empty by default and I've already created a script. I'll move it in here. Create a script I call 50 dash IF up uh, dash hooks. Make sure it is executable. So do something like a change mod plus x um, 50 if uh, under uh, if dash 50 dash if up dash hooks. And the contents of it should look like this. It's a simple shell script. It'll first use eth tool to explicitly set the ENS2 and ENS3 you need to do this for all members of your port channel, but set all members the speed and duplex. CML only has gigabit ethernet links, so set the speed to 1000, duplex to full. The second thing you'll need to do is remap the interfaces to the bond. And to do that, you need the IF enslave package. And I'll show you how to install that. It's not uh, on Ubuntu by default, but the commands you'll want are IF enslave dash D, bond zero or the name of your bond interface, and then the interfaces that you want to delete from the port channel, and then IF enslave bond zero and the same interfaces to re-add them back. 
doing that in this script, in this directory, will get this to happen at boot time. So every time Linux boots up, it will get its port channel working. To get the ifinslave package on here, just do an apt-get install ifinslave, and I already have it installed, but it will add it, and then you'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and reboot my Linux node. This won't take too long to come up. Remember over here, we're sending frames, we're not receiving any frames, so our port channel summary is again suspend, suspend, with the port channel being in an overall uh, down state. So it's a layer two port channel, but it's overall in the down state. So SD means switch down, and then these two lowercase s's, they're in a suspend state. You might see them in an I state if you say, uh, do not mark individual links suspend. Uh, that's the same problem. I is bad. You really want to see them here as in P, members of uppercase P, members of a port channel, uh, and then you'll be able to pass traffic. Something else to note, I've got an interface VLAN 10 here. This is my IP address on the switch side, 10, 10, 10, 1. I've got a 10, 10, 10, 2 on the Linux side. So, no, oh, let's back up. So I can show you that. So IP adder show. I've got 10, 10, 10, 2. That'll be our real test. But now if I do a show lack P counters, you can see that I'm now starting to receive lack P frames from the Linux side. And if I do a show port channel summary, you can see that the interfaces, uh, member interfaces are both up. They're members of the port channel and our port channel is up. So I should, if all works out, be able to ping 10, 10, uh, uh, 10 1 and I can I'm pinging that successfully if I do an art minus a on the Linux side I'll see 10 10 10 1 should end in a 48 11 if I come over here and I do a show in VLAN 10 uh, I see that it ends at a 48 11 so we are pinging successfully and we have established at least a two interface port channel between our Nexus 9000 V and Linux Ubuntu Linux thanks for watching